Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Terraforged mod in Minecraft 1.16.5. This mod is really, really cool because it adds in basically similar to real life biomes to Minecraft 1.16.5. As you can see here, if we click on images, we are going to have everything from crazy mountain villages like that, which is just insane, to, you know, even more of like a big meandering river, plains biomes and plains biomes that have mountains in them and all sorts of cool stuff. Even as you can see here, this is a flower hill. And look how beautiful that is. So really, really cool mod. Kind of extends the Minecraft, you know, vanilla biome generation to the next level and uh, something honestly I would recommend adding in game because it's just it's really really cool but nevertheless though we do have some our sponsor first which is Apex Minecraft hosting go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server we actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server played our breakdowncraft.com on them so if you want to start your very own Minecraft server check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running nevertheless though you're not here to start a Minecraft server you are here to get Terraforged so let's go Go ahead and do it. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is the official Terraforged download page where you want to come over to the right hand side, scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16, and then under that you want to download the version of Terraforged that has the R on it, that green R there. Once you find that green R, come over here to the right hand side and click the orange download button. That will then take us off to where after a few seconds, Terraforge will download automatically. There we go. Boom, Terraforge will now download in the bottom left. And as you can see, it does say Terraforge 1.16.5. We can go ahead and click keep to save that file on Mozilla Firefox. You will need to save it in the of your screen by clicking save. And again on Google Chrome, click keep in the bottom left. We aren't done downloading just yet though. We still need to move on and download Forge. You can find Forge at the third link in the description down below. Once you're on the third link, it will take you here. Here. This is actually our complete guide for getting Forge, and this does go more in depth than we're going to go in this video, but for this video, just scroll down and click on the green Download Forge button. Now take it to Forge's official website, where you want to make sure MC 1.16.5 is selected, and as you can see, it is selected here. If it isn't, come over here to the left-hand side, click on plus 1.16, and then click on 1.16.5, and then you'll see MC 1.16.5 appear here. Now I want to come under Download Latest and click on Installer, and when you do that, stop! Do not click anything on this page whatsoever. Stop, do not click a single thing on this page except the red skip button that appears after about 10 seconds in the top right. When that red skip button does appear in the top right, go ahead and click the red skip button. Again, do not click anything else on this page except the red skip button in the top right. When you click that red skip button, Forge is going to download in the bottom left on Google Chrome. As you can see, Forge, and then it does say 1.16.5. You're going to go ahead and click Forge in the bottom left on Google Chrome. You can just save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. It's 100% safe to do so. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on our desktop, we have a few things. We have Terraforged, and we have Forge for Terraforged, right? So Forge is needed to install Terraforged, and we have both of them here. If these are on your desktop, no worries, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left, and then go ahead and type in Downloads. You'll have this Downloads file folder here. Click on that, and then in here, you will have Terraforged and Forge. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and move on to starting with Forge. To do that, you want to right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Well, that's okay. If you don't have Java here, I'm going to show you how to fix that. And I'm also going to show you how to fix if your Java logos and your Java files don't look like mine. So to do that, you want to go to the description down below and go here. This is our in-depth guide on getting Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Terraforge is a Minecraft mod, so we need this version of Java for it. Now, this is a quick and easy three-step tutorial, and that should allow you to open up Forge, but you still may have weird-looking jar files. They might not look the same as mine. And to fix that, you're going to need to run the jar fix, and this is going to basically take all the .jar files on your computer and link them to Java once again, making everything work perfectly. Now, finally, though, we can right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. It's now going to open up the mod system installer for Forge, where you just want to click on Install Client and click OK. It's now going to download, install some things, set some things up, basically make everything work to get Forge up and running and open for you in 1.16.5. It said open, but not open. Get it installed for you in 1.16.5. And then you can see stuff to install client profile Forge. Awesome. We go and click OK and close out of that. Now at this point, we can delete Forge from our desktop, right? We want to make sure TerraForge is kept, but Forge can be deleted. Now from there, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And before you go ahead and click the play button, slow down. Make sure that you have your Forge profile selected. So as you can see here, we don't. If we get this little drop down box here, we do have Forge, 
So we can go ahead and select that, and it does say 1.16.5 dashboards under it, so we can click play. However, if you don't have Forge in this drop down box, or it doesn't say 1.16.5 dashboards under it, what you want to do is click on installations. Now, the first thing is making sure this modded checkbox right here is clicked. As you can see, we deselect it and Forge goes away. We select it, Forge reappears. So you might need to do that, and if you can do that, you're good to go. However, you can go ahead and click play on Forge, I should say. However, if you still don't have Forge, or if you do and it doesn't have the correct version, one at 16.5 under it, go ahead and click new installation. Then you want to change your name here. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Well, I'm going to name it that because that's our own incredible 1.16.5 Greed Protected Survival Server. It truly is incredible. We love it. You should go check it out. It's got Greed Protected Survival, custom skyblock. Aquatic Survival has amazing slash shop economy and amazing PvP. Medieval Survival has 30 custom quests and a player based economy. And Skyblock has awesome rewards, an insane challenge system that's 100% custom, and amazing minions. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now, for version, we're going to go ahead and check the version drop down box here then you want to find release 1.16.5 dash forge then we want to come under resolution and change the resolution you don't need to do that but i'm going to do that now on the version drop down box here mine was right up here at the top 1.16.5 dash forge and we have to scroll down to find yours and that's okay but mine's right here nevertheless we can now go ahead and click create in the bottom right and we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile but most importantly we have a profile that says 1.16.5 dash forge so we can go ahead and hover over that and click the green play button you're going to get this warning basically saying you're playing modded minecraft if you understand you're playing modded minecraft go ahead and click the green play button now Minecraft 1.16.5 is going to open up with no mods installed. It's just going to have Forge installed. But that's okay. The hard part is over. The hard part is getting Minecraft open with Forge. The easy part is getting TerraForge installed and then playing Minecraft with it. So basically now all we got to do is sit here and wait for Minecraft to open. And then it is super, super easy to install TerraForge from there. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut and I will meet you on the Minecraft main menu. So here we are loading into the Minecraft main menu, and once we are on the main menu, it's super easy to install Terraforged. Just from the main menu, click on the Mods button here, and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the main menu, click on Mods, and then click on Open Mods folder. Then in our Mods folder, what we want to do is take Terraforge and drag and drop it into it. So take Terraforge from your desktop, drag and drop it into your Mods folder. Now we can close out of our Mods folder. If we come back to Minecraft, it's not here, so we want to go ahead and click Done and Quit Game. Now you might be like, what? I just open Minecraft? What? We have to restart Minecraft to get this to work. So let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. But don't worry, you don't have to go through and create a profile and everything like that. You should either have your Forge profile with 1.16.5-Forge under it, or play breakdowncraftcom with 1.16.5-Forge under it. Then go ahead and click the green play button. Now Minecraft is going to open up with TerraForge installed. And you'll be able to see that it does recommend mods. The mod right there, there's TerraForged on that little deep scan. That doesn't mean it's going to work. It's going to work, but it doesn't mean it's going to. It just means it's going to try to make it work. But you're watching this video, I guarantee it's going to work. So at this point, you just have to sit here and listen to me talk while this opens up. Because I don't like to do any jump cuts between now and us making sure the mod's installed, right? Pretty standard stuff. So anyway, we're just going to sit here and just wait. We're going to have a little chat, you know, just, just, just us just sitting here just talking about Minecraft and uh, rambling a little bit until we get to the Minecraft main menu. Once we do get to the Minecraft main menu here, we can go ahead and click on mods. There is Terraforged, boom. So I just get to, I accidentally clicked on that link, but there is Terraforged there. If we click on that, boom, some information about the mod. But most importantly, we wanna create a new single player world. We're gonna name this creative Terra Forged Video. Forged video. And then before we go ahead and click uh, create world, right? We want to click on more options and then you want to change your world type to Terra Forge, right? So there it is, Terra Forged. Now you can't come in here and customize this. You can do huge biomes, light, smaller contents and biomes with scaled down terrain and then vanilla-ish, right? There's different ones here. Default, beautiful, all that stuff. We're going to go with beautiful for this because why not? Click done. It's going to give us a random seed, create new world, and now it's going to go ahead and generate this new terraforged world. Now, there might be some lag in my voice and things like that, and I apologize. Normally, I would do a jump cut while generating the world to help prevent that, but because this is such a world gen mod, I'm gonna show you that it's working and that it's, you know, installing and, and loading the world and there's no trickery. So basically, I'm sorry for any lag in my voice or anything like that that does happen, but uh, nevertheless, it's part of it uh, with, a, with a world generation mod like this. So here we are in game and wow, we are spawning in a snow biome. And look at that, there's no denying this is Terra Forged. So really, really beautiful biomes. That's kind of how this world works. Um, as you can see, we have a snow or a, a village biome that's on a cliff and it just looks stunning. Look at that, wow. Absolutely stunning igloos as well, which is kind of cool. I know that's vanilla, but still it's kind of cool. And then we do have, you know, this waterfall down off of this mountain 
into a, a like an actual pool of water. I mean, it, it's beautiful. I would love to find a river. I think that's one of the really cool features about Terraforge is that there's actual rivers and the rivers do end. Like they will end in a lake or end at the ocean all of the time, 100% of the time. They never just randomly end like they do in vanilla Minecraft. But nevertheless, let's check this out over here. Usually some tree or evergreen biomes can look pretty cool. And yep, it does not disappoint as it expands across this mountain and down. Like, look at that. That is so awesome. You would never see something like that in vanilla Minecraft. A snow biome is actually a really cool place to spawn. One thing I will say, if I have one gripe about this mod, right, um, is that it really, really does have huge biomes. Like, these biomes are massive. We are getting a little bit of lag here. That's kind of to be expected. But uh, as you can see, it will keep generating. It's just, uh, it's got a lot going on. If we were to do a jump cut, all this would uh, eventually generate in. But nevertheless, absolutely awesome mod. Love it. And uh, truly beautiful, a beautiful way to get new biomes and uh, bigger biomes with some very unique features in Minecraft. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. And I am out. Peace.